We can't do it all by ourselves today. And in fact, we don't want to either. Being able to marshal the strength and ability of others is the best path forward. But how do we do that? Welcome back to this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. Now, we are bringing the show to you from our High Performance Center studio here in Akasaka in Minato-ku the business center of Tokyo. This is episode number 64, and we are talking about lead through your people. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsor. If you want to be successful as a leader, do the Leadership Training for Managers course. All companies need people who can both manage and lead. Leading people screams out for real skills in communication, dealing with all different types of people, being excellent at innovation, planning, delegation, handling mistakes, doing performance reviews really well, and inspiring and motivating the team. Do the Leadership Training for Managers course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Okay, now it's time for the show. So let's get going. Lead through your people. Harvard professor Joseph Nye coined the term soft power to describe how nations can achieve their aims through persuasion and the ability to attract. Can soft power in our businesses achieve persuasion and attract cooperation? Here are four soft power plays that persuade and attract the team to outperform the competition. Play number one, work on our communication. The why of the vision, as well as the what and the how, need to be explained in ways that inspire the troops to care. We own the world we create, so include our people in the creating of the vision. Plenty of corporate officers have elaborately framed vision, mission, value statements that hardly anyone can recall. How hard is it to get all of your work units starting with a daily why recharge? It takes a few minutes and costs almost nothing. Play number two. According to McGregor's theory X, theory Y, staff motivation models, if we, are, if we see our team as basically good, loyal people doing the best they can, then we can switch our gaze to becoming a good finder, to recognize them, rather than to scold them. So leaders need to take a theory why happy pill every morning before work and decide they will be a good finder. Play number three, emphasize valuing your people rather than parroting the corporate values. A global engagement survey validated in Japan showed that the feeling of being valued was the trigger point, sparking inspiration, empowerment, enthusiasm, and confidence. Communicating to each other individually as you are valued is using soft power. Play number four, ask questions instead of giving direct orders. Engaging people in the front line through valuing their input produces outperformance. Don't miss it. The crowdsourcing of ideas from the team is a soft power play that pays off. 
The end is nigh for those organisations who don't introduce Professor Nye's soft power play into their leadership armoury. Action steps. Start with the why before explaining the what and the how. Become a daily theory why -er, seeking out the positives in your people. Ensure your people feel they are genuinely valued every time, all the time. Become an ask rather than tell leader. Commit to persuade and attract your way to success. Thank you for watching this episode. And remember to hit the subscribe button. The Japan Business Mastery Show is here to help you navigate your way around business in Japan. Subscribe on YouTube, share with your family, friends, and colleagues. Hit the little bell icon for automatic new episode notifications. Our website details are on screen now, enjapan.dalecunny.com. You might also enjoy our other weekly shows for podcasts, Mondays, for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. That's the podcast version. Tuesday, we have the Presentations Japan series. And every second Tuesday, we have the Business Tachijin no Oshie program. Wednesdays, we have the Sales Japan series. Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series. And every second Thursday, we have the Business Pro Podcast. Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, we have Japan's top business interviews. Now, you get these wherever you get your podcasts. Also, on Mondays, we release our other TV shows, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show on YouTube. That comes out uh, every week. And every second Thursday, we have the Business Pro Terebi Show. Every week on Friday, we have the Japan Business Mastery Show. And every week on Sunday, we have Japan's top business interviews. Now, in episode 65, we are talking about stop pitching. Please join me next week to master business here because that is what we all want, isn't it? Japan business mastery.